Hello there. This is the family doctor. Drug company, yes. Oh, hello, Mrs. Windsor. This is Chick Harper. Uh huh. Well, no, Faith hasn't been in yet. You bet I will. I'll give her the message when she comes in. All right. Goodbye, Mrs. Windsor. Oh, so Faith's coming in, huh? Gee. Oh, I better clean off that soda counter. Mr. Miller. Uh, howdy there, young fella. Yep, howdy. Something I can do for you? Yeah, reckon so you can fill up this bottle of liniment. Well, uh, I don't think I can fill it up, but I can sell you a new one. Oh, uh, they come from the wholesale all filled. Oh, I see. Uh, uh, all right, uh, give me another bottle. Uh, just a minute. There you are. Uh, how much is it going to cost me? Uh, let me see. It's down the bottom of the bottle. Uh, 49 cents. 40, uh, 49. Well, there's four bits. You can uh, keep the penny. Uh, keep the penny. Okay, thanks. Say, Mr. Miller. Yeah? It sure is a beautiful day, isn't it? Is it? I hadn't noticed you've been too busy. The almanac says there's going to be a full moon tonight, too. That's so. Well, uh, yeah, we do have them once in a while. Uh, Mr. Miller, yeah. what would I have to do to rent one of your boats for a little row around the lake this evening? Well, well I reckon there ain't much to do except to uh, give me a deposit of $2 and it costs you uh, 25 cents an hour. Say, Mr. Miller, uh, yeah. it'd be okay if I brought a young lady with me, wouldn't it? Uh, yes. Uh, young lady! Uh, say, now, you, you you listen to me, young fella. You've been residing in Cedarton long enough to know that I don't rent none of my boats to young ladies except with a note from their ma or pa. Uh, got to have a note. Well, uh, so long. And uh, if she ain't got a ma or pa, well, you're out of luck. Well, uh, fair with her. Oh, hello, Mr. Miller. Oh, 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 oh. Nice day, isn't it? Yeah, hello, Faith. Hello, Chick. Your mother phoned for you a few minutes ago. She wants you to bring home an atomizer. Your dad's got another spell of hay fever. Oh, all right. And I want a double pineapple delight with whipped cream. Okay, right away. Mm-hmm. Say, uh, I haven't seen you in the store much lately, Faith. No, I... Yes, you haven't. Oh, you used to come in quite a lot. Uh huh. Well, I haven't seen you at the church young people's meeting very often either. Oh, he has. Well, Mr. May's been having me stay on at the store here while he goes to dinner at that time. Oh. <laughs> you, you don't like me very well, do you? What? Why, Chick Harper? What do you mean? Well, you you haven't been coming into the store. Well, and... I I kind of thought you sort of. Uh, well, didn't like me anymore. Oh, listen. No, I thought you liked Ella Mary Bliss. Huh? Oh, well, I do like Ella Mary, but I, I like you better, Faith. Do you? Oh, my. <laughs> well, there's your pineapple delight. Oh, thank you. Faith. Go. No? What are you... D- well, I mean, are you doing anything tonight after supper? Just studying my homework. That's all. You got much of it to do? Not much. No. Well, 
Would you like to take a ride with me up to Miller's Lake? I could get Mr. May to let me use the delivery truck. Oh, well, yeah, I, I think that would be fun. And, and you think you could get your mother to give you a note to Griff Miller saying it's okay for you to take a ride in a boat? Well, I, I think so. I'll try. <laughs> Gee, I haven't been out on the lake for a long time. Say, this is going to be fun. Well, okay, then. It's a date, huh? Yeah. All right, Chick. Well, I guess I'd better be running along now. Now, I'll pay you for the pineapple delight later. Oh, that's okay. Say, Faith. Yeah? Uh, do you think it might be a good idea if we didn't say anything about this to Ella Mary? Uh-huh. Well, uh, goodbye. Goodbye. See you after supper. Gee. But last I got up nerve enough to ask Faith Windsor for a date. Oh, golly, she forgot the atomizer. Now, let me see. Oo de... Oo de Kaluni. A superior lotion for after shaving. Huh? Well, I've just shaved, so here goes. Hmm. Gee, it smells good. Golly, that makes a man feel swell. Now, let me see. Virginia Molly, Molly Knox's rose water. Hmm. Gee, this is better than the other stuff. I'll try a little of this. Ah, uh, that sure is wonderful. Now, old-fashioned garden pomade for the care of the hair. Uh-huh. Well, here goes. Gee, the, that stuff smells pretty good, too. Well, guess I'm all ready, just as soon as Mr. May gets back. Oh, hello, Dr. Adams. Yeah, hello, Chick. Well, how's business? Say. What's the matter? What in the world's happened in here? Well, nothing. Why? What's Pete May done to this door? Smells like a perfume factory. Oh, that. Well, well, I guess it's me, Dr. Adams. You? What do you mean? Well, I, I was kind of going out this evening, and I was just sort of, well, fixing up a little. Ah, I see. Your engagement is with one of the local young ladies, I presume? Oh, yes, sure. Hmm, not the daughter of a local grocery store proprietor? Oh, Ella Mary? No. Oh, well, well, what can I do for you, Dr. Adams? <laughs> Uh, well, you can give me that atomizer you forgot to send home to Judge Windsor by faith this afternoon. Oh, that. Yeah, sure. <laughs> uh, here you are, Doctor. This one all right? Oh, yes. Yes, that'll do very nicely. Oh, well, hello, Doctor. Hello, hello Mary. Hello, Chick. Well, uh, I guess I'll have a chocolate pecan sundae. Okay. Well, Ella Mary, are you going into the post bugles beauty contest? Beauty contest? Yeah, didn't you hear about it? No. Yes, I was just up to the Windsors, and Mrs. Windsor said she was going to put faith into it. Oh, is she? Well, there's your Sunday, Sunday, Alan, Mary. Oh, thanks. Well, I guess I'd better start cleaning up the back room now. Is there anything else you want, Dr. Adams? No, that's all just now, Chick. Run along. Uh, thanks. Uh, Ella Mary. Yes? Do you have any sort of, uh, well, hankering to go into this beauty contest? Mm, no, no, I don't think so. It's kind of common, I think. Well, maybe you're all right at that. Um, Chick uh, Harper's all... He's all dressed up tonight, isn't he? Oh, is he? Oh, uh, yes. Yes, maybe he is. Well, I, I wonder... Uh, I wonder if he's going out. Going out? I, I mean, I wonder if he's got a date. Well, I wouldn't be at all surprised. Yes, it's quite possible. Mm, yeah. You know, Ella Mary... Yes? I think you're making a big mistake. Mistake? Wow. Why should an attractive young lady like you concentrate all her attentions on one young man when there are so many fine young fellows in Cedarton. Me? Why, Dr. Adams, why, I'm, I'm not concentrating on any young one man. Well, just think it over, Ella Mary. Think it over. Uh, hi, Doc. Hello, Pete. Hello, Ella Mary. Say, what the... What... Hey, what is this? What's happened here? What do you mean, Pete? Well, this store of mine smells like a barber shop. Oh, well, uh, maybe maybe Chick might be able to explain, Pete. He's been here longer than Ella Mary or me. Huh? Chick? Oh, yes. I say what you mean. And that reminds me. Chick? Yes, sir? Come here a sec, will you? Sure. Yes, sir? 
Say, uh, Chick, I'm afraid I've kind of a disappointment for you this evening. Uh, disappointment? Yeah, you see, Amos Day's put me on the committee to arrange for the first annual Cedarton Festival and Historic Pageant. And there's going to be a meeting of the committee this evening up to the Post Bugle office. You mean that... That you'll uh, have to call off your date with Faith Windsor. She won't mind. There'll be lots of other evenings later. Uh, Pete, don't you and Chick want to discuss your private affairs back in the prescription room? Private affairs? Oh, they ain't nothing private about this, Doc. It'll be in the post bugle tomorrow. Huh? What? Yeah, I mean about me being put on the committee. No, it's perfectly okie-dokie to talk about it. You see, Doc, I got an idea that we should ought to make this pageant sort of allegorical. Sort of what? Allegorical. I've been talking with Mrs. O'Malley about it. She's going to direct it, you know. Oh, I see. Yeah. And, uh, say, uh, Chick. Yes, sir? I just happened to think, hadn't you better phone up Faith and tell her you got to break that date with her this evening? She'll understand, because her pa's on the committee, too. Phone her from here? Sure thing. Go ahead. Well, uh, you see, Go I... ahead. I'll watch the fountain for you. Well, all right. Yeah. How's about having a bottle of pop on the house, Doc? Oh, all right, Pete. Don't mind if I do. Uh, lemon Hello. soda. Give me please. Judge Your Windsor's house, thing, please. Know. Hello, Faith. This is Chick. Yeah. Say, Faith, I'm awfully sorry, but we can't... We can't go out tonight. Well, I've got to work here at the store. Mr. May's going out to a... Oh, now, listen, Faith. Wait a minute. Oh, don't say that. I can't help it. Can I if... Hello? Hello? Hello, Faith? Hello. Well, there's your lemon soda, Doc. Oh, thanks. As I was a... Se- hey, Chick. Yes, sir? Where are you going? Uh, I'm going back and finish cleaning up the prescription room and, until you get ready to go. Oh, okie dokie. Well, as I was a saying... Mr. May. Yes, what is it, Ella Mary? What I think is... I'll have another chocolate pecan sundae. Make it a double one this time, will you please? Well, sure thing you know... Say, you must have enjoyed that first one. <laughs> I did. I enjoyed it more than any other Sunday I ever ate in my life. Well, what do you know? Because I'm through concentrating, like Dr. Adams said I was doing. Concentrating? Mm, and I'm going into that beauty contest. And what's more, I'm going to win it, too. <laughs> is the family doctor. I'll be in to see you again right soon. Goodbye. Goodbye.